Let me go ahead and read this. Oh, yeah. Well, nobody me. Ladies, gentlemen, bros. Uh, we would like to welcome you to our third award ceremony. This time, I will take the uh, moment to bring in Brother Sean O'Reilly, who will be our Master of Ceremonies. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, thank you, uh, Brother Gaskins. Uh, we're going to make a couple adjustments um, to our program. Um, at this time, Brother uh, Magnus Achamkan Quay will come up and give the history of Roe Lambda Lambda, I mean, the history of Omega Sci Fi. Um, after dinner, Naquan George will give us the um, history of Roe Lambda Lambda, and then Brother Sean Diggs will bless us with a prayer, and then we shall begin to eat. We'll ask the ladies to go to the table first as soon as Brother Diggs um, has blessed us with the food. Thank you. How's everybody doing today? Okay. I'm Magnus of Champon Quay, Spring 12, the four dog. I just came here today, you know. First, before I start, I just wanted to say I love this chapter, Rolanda Lander. Thank you, everybody who made it out. Uh, we have more brothers on the way also. Uh, I'm going to be pretty brief, you know, just give you a quick history of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity, because uh, most of you already know it. And if you don't, I hope you will research it. Uh, on a stormy Friday, November 17, 1911. We were founded on the campus of, ha of Howard University. Uh, we were the first predominantly black fraternity to be founded on that campus. It was by three undergrads and one graduate advisor. These undergrads had to go through, um, basically had to persevere just to even get the fraternity on the campus. Because in 1911, it was a time where segregation still existed. It was a time where they didn't want the fraternity on the campus. It was a time where they were kind of afraid to have the fraternity be the first black fraternity founded on a campus such as Howard University. They, they even had to go to extreme lengths like hanging up placards on trees to let them know that Omega Sci fraternity is here and we don't care what you want to do about it. We want to establish the fraternity here on this campus. So after that, the placards, they told me to take them down. Our founders who have, they went out and found quality men who were athletes, not only were the athletes, they were the captains of their team. They found the scholars who basically had, you know, the highest GPA on campus, who were campus leaders, who were people that you would look up to. And so when the, when the administration saw the placards, they're like, you know what, we have to get these students to take them down. But they couldn't suspend them because they were, like I said, men of like attainment, also men of high standards. And so... They called him into the office and said, we need you to take this down. And they said, we want a meeting so we can establish this fraternity this campus. That was perseverance that they went through. And eventually, after, after some, you know, some time, they got it established on the campus. October 28, 1914, Omega Sci Fi Fraternity became incorporated. And then as the years went on, now we're still standing in front of you today. The men of Roland and Lander and an unincorporated subsidiary of the Omega Sci Fi Fraternity is here today because of the work that they put in just for us to be here today. So with that going on, I'm going to pass on the mic. And um, I believe Brother O'Reilly will bring somebody up next. Good evening, brothers. Re Good evening, guests. Um, just again, ladies are going to eat first after the prayer, then protocol is to follow. Um, Let us pray. Our Father, we humbly come to you as we always do in prayer. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated. We thank you for bringing us together in friendship and in love. We ask that you bless the hands that prepared this food, bless the hands that labor for it, may that we use it for the nourishment of our bodies. In the name of his son, Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. Amen. And get started um, with our program, um, the way it's going to go. Um, now, uh, Brother Troy Johnson will give us our acknowledgments. After that, Brother Foster Williams will give us a poem. And then Brother Naquan George will give us 
the roll lambda lambda history his way. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would just like to acknowledge everybody that came out today, um, guests, um, brothers, um, people in the community, um, support staff, <laughs> I should say. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, hopefully we won't keep you too long. You know, we want to make the show entertaining and keep it moving. So um, again, thank everybody for coming. And, and we, have a, we have a district officer in here that, that I should acknowledge. All right, um, I would like the second vice DR to stand up and be acknowledged, Brother Jer Jamal Gerito. All right, um, any other district officers? Oh, Brother Shamari Adams Martinez, second district undergraduate representative. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anyone else here. I think that might be it. But, um, but again, thank everybody for coming, and um, let's get the show started. Hey, everybody. I'm Foster, Spring 14. The poem I'll be saying is Psalms 133. All right. Psalms 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bed, even Aaron's bed, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. Psalms 133, Psalms 133, Psalms 133. Good evening, everybody. My name is Laquan George. Um, I'm going to give you guys a brief history of Roll Lambda Lambda. Uh, we were founded in 2004, and uh, I do spoken word poetry. So I wrote a poem about my beloved chapter. Have you heard? About the row, the mighty, mighty row, so rough, so rugged, yet so smooth and thorough. A dream turned reality by four great men gave way to Roland the Lambda in the time since then. It started with a marvel of a dream, the Fantastic Four team. There's no telling what this long row will do to you, but the Holy Grail will prevail. Four survivors of a crucible. Excuse me. You can turn day into night, and that's word to the sons of Mr. Hyde. All day, any day, the row is filled with pride. A process of pure stress will determine the caliber of a man. And after day two, 26 men will truly stand. This world we live in is filled with enemies and deep peak shaft and high e describes dogs of thermal dynamic energy <clears throat> look between the lines find the meaning in the story a tear will hit your eye when you've witnessed pain and glory look in the mirror become the man behind the mask it takes just one brave soul to complete the task. There are soldiers, I say there are soldiers, who illuminate the darkness. <laughs> they wanted to see us fall, crumble before the wire. Roland the Lander, still resilient under fire. Ruth. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Naquan George. Um, excellent job uh, with your poem. Um, we're going to go a little bit out of order. Um, um, the award that we're going to give out now, this person has to leave, but um, he's been um, a part of Roll Lambda Lambda um, for a while. Um, the award that we're going to give out is called Our Manhood Award. Um, this brother, like I said, has always been there um, in our chapter for a while. He's been a friend to many, um, hired a lot of brothers to work 
This organization let us pretty much use his office since the time that the chapter um, has begun. Um, <clears throat> we think of manhood, you think of someone that is going to be there, someone that faces adversity and faces um, challenges. And he's become a new cyclist and breaking new records um, as he begins. So this year's Manhood Award goes to Brother Carl Robinson. Now I want to say thank you to the chapter, Ro Lambda Lambda. Um, I truly love you guys, man. I love this chapter. I love everything about our, our fraternity. Um, when it comes to manhood, I see nothing but that in this room amongst my brothers. Um, I really appreciate the award and um, apologize for not being, you know, as active as I would like to be with you guys on a regular basis. But um, now that I'm a little bit more settled at work and things of that nature, I definitely commit to doing that um, in the year 2015. All right, so I appreciate this, and this is manhood for everybody in this room. Thank you. I mean, our next award will be for our Citizen of the Year, and Brother Sean Diggs will come up and present that. This year's recipient of the um, Citizenship Award is, is given to a person who has done a lot for the community, for the fraternity, and in life. Um, I've come to know him great well as a good friend and a brother. It goes to police director now, Tracy Bowers. I have more, bro. Um, I have more. Um, Brother Bowers has been a police officer in the township of Irvington since the early 90s. And he's progressed, and now he's currently the police director of the township of Irvington. And outside of that, he's also a mason. He's also a great father and a great friend. I present to you my line brother, Tracy Bowers. of men, as the brother will tell you, we play a special part in, in our fraternity. Right? Right. 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 All right. Um, good evening to the guests that's here, here with us tonight, and also greetings to all my brothers here. I love you. Um, I want to just talk a quick second about about the achieve, achievement. This award right here, I hold it very special, special and I will <coughs> tell you why. We talk about achievement for this for fraternity. Brother Magnus gave a uh, a quick a quick um, description synopsis about, about history. And in addition to that history, we talk about when the fraternity was founded, and they were trying to spread out, and they put up placards on the wall all over the place, and they created a big thing on on the campus. And don't forget, at the time, it was the turn of the century. Slavery had just not long passed over, so Howard University was not the black university as we as we know it now. So all of their faculty, for the most part, were, was white. So they called the founders into their office and they tell them, we are a little bit, a little bit concerned. And then they say, well, why? And here's the, listen to the answer what they found, what they say, and listen to this. They said, well, we, we understand you want to expand. You want your fraternity to be, to be national. But how do you know that the people you pick are going to be like you? And this is what Thurston said, the president. He said, well, you guys are gentlemen. So them being concerned about how do we know 
that the rest of your fraternity that you think to be in your fraternity is going to be like you, like these men in these suits right here, right? Gentlemen, right? But don't let the suits fool you, though. <laughs> don't let the suits fool you. So in, in terms of uh, establishing that so many years ago, over 100 years, in one room, third floor hall, in one room, over 100 years, and look at it now. Who would ever thought? So that achievement on a fraternity level is 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 extraordinary. Because I found this, as you know, there wasn't ordinary men. There was extraordinary men. So in terms of uh, achievement, everything that's done, the founders had the, the charter line, and they go on and on and on down to us. And we have to rely on each other overall to get what we need done. So I accept this achievement award. award. Um, I didn't do any of this stuff by myself. I had so much help. I had my family, I had my friends, but I did have to have to work hard. Because like Brother Dig said, I, I'm the youngest police director in the history of the Irvington Police Department. So that's it. <laughs> I, I think that I think very, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. Like I said, I came up through the ranks. It wasn't given to me. I'm sorry that the tenure happened. I did all that stuff. And, we had, to, we had to work hard. So this achievement, I'm proud of. I'm proud of this chapter. I love this chapter. And um, I thank you guys very much. Uh, for our next award is our, our Founders Award, um, a brother that exemplifies uh, what our founders are. And um, Brother Brandon Robinson uh, will come up and present this award. How's everybody doing today? Everybody good? I'm a little nervous. I never did this before, but um, I, well, this is word for somebody who paved the way for everybody since 2004 to now. Also, he has also lived by the cardinal principles and being a good friend to everyone around him and whoever he's met in his way. Um, a little bit about this man. He went from playing basketball from at NGIT to being in the court of North. So also, I'm pretty sure he want me to say this though. He scored a thousand points in three years. So that's, that's he always wants to do that. Um, one thing about this man, when I first met him, he always stretched the importance of being a man and also about manhood. So that's why I always try to live by, I always try to meet his expectations and more. Um, he always helps the chapter with community service. He even has a, pro, a event called Balling with the Bros where he brings uh, students from different organizations that uplift and mentor kids to watch a game at NGIT and to meet brothers of the team and also men of Omega. So there's awards for Amar Rasul. keep it very short because I get to speak a little later on that'll probably be a little longer um, but you know things we do uh, we usually don't do them to be recognized for it, but it's good to get some type of recognition for it keeps you moving forward and I just thank everybody in the chapter and everybody that's not in the chapter that's in attendance today so just thank you uh, like I said we thank everybody for their patience uh, with us this evening and um, you know, just kind of add to um, the importance of, you know, the Achievement Week. It was actually started by, um, you know, Carter um, G. Woodson. And kind of one of the main reasons and purposes that the Achievement Week was formed was because that Afro-Americans weren't receiving recognition or awards for the things that they were doing in society. And so when the fraternity um, got founded in 1926 later on, they decided to make sure that Afro-Americans that were doing outstanding things were recognized for their achievements. And later on, it trickled down to some of the achievements that were being done on a chapter level. Um, the chapter's only 10 years old. This is only our third um, achievement award, but the brothers truly are working hard and affecting their community. Um, the next award that we have, we have uh, a special thank you award that we like to actually um, send out. Um, this brother has been in the chapter 
um, since the chapter um, began. He's um, essential for making sure that the award ceremony goes on. Uh, he makes all our plaques. Uh, he makes all our cups. He makes all our T-shirts. Um, our special thank you award goes to Brother William Williams. <laughs> Award. I appreciate it. Uh, as he said before, um, I'm here to try to help out as much as I can for the chapter. You guys know where I'm at. You know what I do. I'm here to try to help you guys out. I appreciate as being one of the first guys in here on, on, of the 04 line, I should say 04, I want to say that I appreciate and I see all you guys coming out, all these new guys. It's fantastic for the chapter. You know, we're, we, we weren't supposed to be where we are today, guys. And you guys already know that. So to look and see what's going on in all these years, it's, it's fantastic. And I just uh, thank you for the award and keep up the good work, guys. All right? <laughs> uh, we have a second uh, special thank you award as well. Um, this brother's been around the chapter for a long time as well. Um, unfortunately, back when the chapter began, we weren't having these award ceremonies and handing out plaques and awards, but he's always been there working hard and being the warrior um, that he's been. Um, he prides himself on, um, since he's been in the chapter, uh, never missing the chapter meeting, necessarily always being on time and <clears throat> making sure that he preaches and teaches to the young bros. Um, if we had had awards back then, he probably would have received many and probably would have been Omega Man of the Year. But our special thank you award goes out to Brother Sean Diggs. First of all, thank you. Second of all, thank you. Third of all, thank you. Everything that's great comes in threes. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um, but seriously, I appreciate it, man. It's a labor of love. I'm a humble servant of the man we serve above, and I'm here to serve the community as well. Let's keep it up. Follow me as I follow Christ. Like I said, being in the fraternity for a while is kind of a, a big deal, and it's kind of monumental times capsules that you kind of hit in the fraternity, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years. And you know, last year we were unable to have our you know, awards ceremony, and there were a couple brothers that hit their five-year mark and kind of hit a five-year mark this year that we really just wanted to take some time out and recognize because, like you said, back when the chapter first started, I mean, <clears throat> we were struggling, and these guys were the backbone of the chapter and the faces of the chapter that made Roll Lambda Lambda, you know, where it is today and kind of put them on their back. And the first brother that um, i like to acknowledge is Brother Anthony Severin. say but other than thank you um this is definitely the best fraternity on earth tell us what anybody say um the next the people that I came through in or came in with i do have a lot of love and appreciation for them we go through our thick and thin so we call next um we really like brothers we interact like brothers we we stay in touch like brothers we're going to talk forever we'll pick up right where we left off when we do pick up talking again so I do appreciate that a lot. So to my, most importantly, my LBs, that'd be, of course, Jamil Williams and Sean Diggs. Definitely much love, and of course, to the rest of the chapter, and of course, the best attorney on earth will make this out five. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the 
this next brother um, was on the same line. Um, he was I mean, pretty much our longest undergraduate that we had because he, you know, pledged um, the youngest. Um, he kind of, you know, took us and put us on the undergraduate uh, map. Um, pretty much would travel everywhere, a legend. Um, in New York, I had an opportunity to go, you know, on many travels uh, with him, and uh, just a, you know, a good role model, you know, for the younger brothers. Our next ambassador of fun, Brother Jamel Williams. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Just to piggyback off of my, if you guys didn't know, my LB, the one with the beard and all that. This is the greatest fraternity. Pledged back in 2008 from Seton Hall. And it's just amazing to see this fraternity grow. It just brings up, well, not a tear, but it makes me want to cry. Just seeing, like, how many people, like, how many people we got here. I remember it was, like, four or five people in the room. <laughs> now we got a room full of people, man. It's good to see y'all, man. Thank y'all for the award. Next brother, I'm on the same line. Um, he already, you know, won award, but like I said, um, timeliness is um, what he's all about. He was the first person um, that was here, uh, brother Sean Diggs. <laughs> Once again, thank you, thank you all. Um, again, it's all a labor of love. Let's progress and let's move to change society. Now, I work in education, so I see a lot, and I see a bunch of powerful young men in here to the <clears> point where we can eliminate some of the Eric Gardner cases and so forth and so on. Um, and it's gonna, we're going to do it through education. So, again, follow me as I follow Christ. Um, this next brother, the, um, for the five years in here, um, but he's been an you know, integral part, you know, of who we are, and definitely bringing energy to us and to our chapter. Uh, brother Samuel Hai Josel, and his line brother will get that to him. I accept this on behalf of Sam. I know he would love this, so. Um, for those of you, for those of you um, his line name High E, he, he definitely earned that. And um, he definitely gives his all and um, the highest E he can give for this chapter. And again, he, he, would, he would love this award and I'll definitely make sure he gets this. So thank you. And uh, our uh, last uh, person uh, for the five year award, a um, great friend of mine, um, he helps me out tremendously um, in my job. He's done an excellent job. Uh, extremely proud of him, what he's done um, in the fraternity on a chapter level and a district level. Uh, Brother Troy Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know I love this. <laughs> um, words can't express how much I love this chapter. For those who you know who know my story, um, know where I'm from, and knows what it took for me to get here. I mean, this is I, I definitely appreciate this, and I appreciate all the brothers in this room. I mean, it's for me to look out and and to see the brothers in this room. I, I, it does my heart proud. So um, again, thank you very much. We have, we hit the 10 year milestone last year, but we're trying to come and give out our 10 years, this year's um, pinnacle corner of Roll Lamb the Lamb. Uh, I can remember back when, um, the, you know, the chapter first began, and it used to be me, him, JB, you know, Mark, downtown Newark, um, at the, uh, the cancer, you know, walk. I remember, um, you know, when he uh, first joined the fraternity, very fiery. 
uh, well-spirited and loved by everybody. Brother Ahmad Rasul.